What I'm going to be tying here is the Spanish Bullet. It's a quill bodied version. Now, this is a, a pattern which is in the Fully Milled catalogue. I mean, I have tied very similar to this. I've tied many of this style of this fly, especially for grayling. Very good in the winter. Type of fly that sinks really quick and gets down to where the fish are. Now, the hook I'm going to be using is this one here. It's for Fully Mill, it's the Jig Force. Uh, in, this size, in this case, it's a size 16. 16s, 14s, I mean, go bigger. It's, it's a good size for the, I mean, the grayling love these, as well as the trout. But uh, this type of fly fishes extremely well in the winter months. It gets down to where the fish are. As I say, this is a quilled version. Uh, I'm going to want a quite a dark thorax. Now, you could use, depending like this one, you could go black, even the colour of the quill, or whatever. I'm going to use a natural quill, but I'm going to use the black thread. So basically what you do is just build up the, I usually like to build up the thread a wee bit before I start to come down. It basically stops the, this is a 2.5mm tungsten copper bead. Just quickly run down, remove the waist. Now the tail fibres I'm going to use Croc de Leon, which is just the white and Croc de Leon fibres. You could use hackle fibre or grizzle or anything like that. These last longer, just, and don't be shy, put a few on. So you're looking around about the body length, just put that on your finger and thumb, just catch it on. And just check the length, maybe a wee touch longer, maybe a bit short, so. You could spread the fibre by just taking a turn underneath like you would do a dry fly. And what that does, it just spreads the fibre. Now I'm going to take this all the way up. Uh, just I'm going to build up the body a wee bit. I'm just using this fibre to do that. You can do this. Way back down, I'm just going to cut it at like a slight angle by taper. And this again will help you to taper the body. And there we are. Work your way back down. Oops. Just be careful you don't get too many sort of steps. This is I'm just watching at the edge there what it's like. Now I've got the quill here. This is a peacock quill. Just make sure the herald's off it. Now I stripped this using some bleach, so I'm just going to catch it on at the back. Just wind up. There we are. And then I'm going to be covering this with a resin, so remember you're just tying this on to represent the body. But you're going to protect it using a UV resin. Catch it the top, just beginning the thorax or two thirds of the way up. Again, just take your thread up. Always thinking of building your body up. Now, as I say, it's a very simple fly, you don't want anything really on it. Now, you could tie this on and underneath because the hook will sit upside down, but uh, they, they tie this on this side, so and it does work, so I'm going to continue to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to, as I say, build up the thread a wee bit. You could use a UTC thread, it may build up a wee bit quicker. It's got a nice taper, so it's tapering up. Nice shape. Just bring this over. I usually bring it over the top, you can see it like that. A couple of turns. Fold it back. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quick finish and then I'm going to tie in a fluorescent or fire orange thread. Just as a good aiming point at the top. I see this is a dressing that's really, really popular on. It's, it's one of the top flies sold from Fully Mill. So I'm going to just change to the fire orange. Now you could change it to whatever colour you feel suits. Just tie it in once you've tied off the black. Finish. Trim that away. So it's just tying on, tying off. See what the shape's like. And then what you want to do is get some UV resin. I'm using a, I like UV resin. 
Yeah, I usually like to do the thorax area first to get the shape I want. Just so build it up a wee bit. Really needs to be built up anyway. Get your dot and set it. And you want to come in some more. You need to keep this this fly really slick. And uh, the slicker it is, the smoother it is, the quicker it drops. It's a good thing about the resins, you can add them on, you can slowly build them up to get the shape that you want all the way around. Give me a quick look. I'm just going to put some in this area here and then let it run onto the areas where I want it to I say, get a wee bit heavier. It's looking better. I mean, they don't have to be the prettiest flies, these. So the colour combination, the kind of an impression of something. Uh, if you're fishing these uh, in a fast run, the fish don't get a lot of time to look at it. They just get a glimpse, and it's a reaction more than anything to take it. And then, uh, just to finish off and seal the resin, I like to finish off with some clear varnish. Take your vice all the way around. Come on to the, the bead a wee bit. It just seals it, it just stops any water penetration getting under the, the resin and the fly. There you go, just to finish off. And there we are. And that's a Spanish bullet, a quilled version. There's two or three, just plain thread, even dark thorax. As long as, as I say, it just gives a like a body, thorax, colour, dark, light, that type of thing. You'll get a colour that suits. There's one I like with a pink at the top, especially the grey. I love the pink. It works really well. So anyway, there we are. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I certainly put a few in your box and you'll not go far wrong.